And clap to the massive guys, we are finally back again for the very second or third reaction I would have to say today guys Because I actually dropped one early on this morning <laughs> So this is actually gonna be the second one, I had to rush back from Concrete Jungle Let me tell you brothers, this is in cold out there <laughs> Bread I cold <laughs> My hair was getting frostbite <laughs> Anyways guys, big up the Mr. Lix family for definitely joining back and saying hey what's up, the, what's going on, Mr. Lix family, big up all yourself one time and of course don't forget to thumbs up this video, would appreciate that and of course don't comment out there, big up all yourself as well for definitely tuning in the, to this year reaction video. Guys, we're gonna get straight into the vibrations and I think a number of persons need to hear this, especially of, of those who are actually blind and not seeing what is going on. Sometimes you might need a little help, a little assistance in finding out what is going on. So let me see if this lady can actually do this for you guys, okay? Socialism, what is actually taking place in Dominica, is actually that very same thing where people are not working and they're getting handouts and pull, push your hand in your pocket and get the cool out out. Let's continue. Let me tell you a scary story. Hmm. An economics professor at a local college made a statement that she had never failed a single student before, hmm. but had recently failed an entire class. Hmm. So, she have never failed um, students before, but recently failed an entire class. So, in other words, the students before were studying, those who were, were, were working the hardest or studying the hardest, did the extreme, extreme best. The others who were not doing the, the extreme best, but at least doing a little studying here and there, they still happen to pass the class. So, that's why they said they have never failed. The, the professor said that they, they never failed, you know, any, any student before and then recently failed the entire class. Insisted that socialism worked. That is why things have changed. What is socialism, guys? That no one would be poor and no one would be rich. No one is poor and nobody rich. Everybody's on an equal basis. That is what socialism, the idea of it is. A great equalizer. Equalizer. Everybody's on the same playing field. The professor then said, okay, we will have an experiment in this class. All grades will be averaged and everyone will receive the same grade. Mm -hmm. No one will fail. But no one will receive an A either. You guys can probably tell where this is going already. Alright. After the first test, the grades were averaged and everyone got a B. Everybody got a B. The hardworking individuals studying got an A. Those who were not, you know, studying too well, um, very, those who were not studying to the best of their abilities, but they were just, you know, barely studying, still got a passing grade, they got a C. So the average became B. The students who studied hard were upset. And the students who studied little were happy. Yeah, that would make sense. I study hard. I really got an A. But instead of giving my A, you give me a, give me a B instead. That doesn't make sense. And the people who didn't study as hard as I did, you know, they, they got a C. But you're giving them a B. That doesn't... I would understand the sentiment. As the second test rolled round, the students who studied little studied even less. Yep. And the ones who studied hard decided they wanted a free ride too. Yeah, might as well because I study hard, I get my A and you average in my score to a B because everybody else failed. Not failed, but everybody else did, did the thing, did, did, did the average. So might as well just decide, hey, might as well join the team. So that sounds like a brain drain, doesn't it? But the people who are working hard or they realize the people who are not working as hard are, get, are pretty much getting the same thing or even better than them sometimes. Because the, the others who are not working hard, they are dependent on the government. Push on in your pocket, get the cool out and all this kind of thing. So the people who are working hard, they realize, well, it doesn't make sense for me to be working hard. And, 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 and these people are even most likely doing even better than me. Or they are getting the, the same thing as me. What is the point? That can do two things. Brain drain is one of them. Where the people realize, no, that doesn't make sense for me. How I go into another country. I live in the country. Or two. The people who have the ability to do something, realizing that they are also at a short end of the stick, they realize it doesn't make sense to use their abilities. And the, the, the utilization of the abilities is what pushes the country forward. So that is stopped. That has stopped right there. And therefore, the ability sector, the skill set is going down and the brain drain is, 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 is happening in the, in, in the economy. So they studied little. The second average test result was a D. A D. So it dropped again. People realize, you know what, it doesn't make sense for me to continue. Let me just relax myself. And then you find society's value is going down. This is exactly what is happening in Dominica. This is why even we are talking about the previous reaction video I did on the whole um, situation of the tourists talking about what is taking place. And I mentioned sometimes when you go inside people's homes, sometimes there's a scent there because you're not accustomed to that scent. They themselves are so accustomed to that scent that they don't even know that there's a scent there. It's interesting. So when somebody from outside comes in and they see what is going on 
And not on the basis of saying, oh, we're listening to scary and this kind of They came in and they literally spoke about the same thing that other people have been saying. How Rozo is a, in a deplorable state. It's so sad. And then we want to come and say tourism is everybody's business. Really? Let's continue. No one was happy. When the third test rolled round, the average was an F. An F. So everybody fell in society. You have a set of incompetent people leading society that fail in society. The people themselves who are gone out looking at society is in Dominica and saying, but, but let me forget about Dominica. Let me continue to do my thing. Let me organize my home overseas. Let me organize my, my see if I can bring my friends up and whatnot there. Forget about Dominica. But it seems like Dominica is indeed a forgotten place. Ah. When, they, when the tourists them first said that in the previous reaction video, guys, that'll be in the first comment in the comment box below. When the tourists them were saying this, guys, I found it very sad for them to say Dominica is a forgotten place. But it's not, not that it's forgotten. No? It has been neglected by the very people who remembered it. The very people who are running the country have forgotten it. Forgotten how vibrant and how much potential and how much opportunities Dominica could have had. And you listen to the government pretend as if everything is okay. When hundreds of businesses are living in Dominica, we have 365 rivers. That's one of the things I will never be able to fathom. 365 rivers. And we only have one bottle of water. We had two, Lubia Spring Water and Tuapito. I think it had another one, but that one was long gone. On the basis of that whole thing right there, we importing water from other places. We imported Antigua water. And a little thing, something is wrong right there. But the people are accustomed. They're checking, you know what, guys? It is easier for me not to work. Let me go and beg the government for money. That is what socialism is. You think you have an equal playing field when everybody decides, you know what? Well, I'm not working hard again. Let me go and relax my bones. And this is what they end up in. A failing economy. An F. As the test proceeded, the scores never improved. As bickering, name-calling and blame resulted in hard feelings yeah so the people who are working hard realize hey all oh, you getting the same benefit as i it doesn't make sense i work the economy just going down all the way to the floor and when things are not progressing we wonder but what's going on but well, this is what they have created they have created our leaders have created that environment where we have a failing economy and it's rather interesting that the economy is failing, but the only set of people that are doing well are them. Who is getting $250,000 vehicles? Who is getting mansions? Who finish their housing? Who building new housing? Who buying and making new housing? Who owning a set of properties in Dominica? Are the, the oligarchs on top? Whereas the people who put them in positions are the ones constantly begging as if they are the ones... The people are the, the oligarchs are the ones who put the people in the in Dominica to be citizens. <laughs> it's interesting, eh? It's like the oligarchs are the ones who put the Dominica citizens to be citizens of the country, and they, therefore the citizens should be thankful to the oligarchs for making them citizens. When it was the citizens who put them in power, you f you don't find that. You know, you know, something wrong with that? Oh, no, maybe. Okay. And no one would study for the benefit of anyone else. Yep. If I work in hard and you, you're not, you not pulling your weight, what is the point I pull in the weight for? What is the point, point I pull in the weight for in Dominica when I constantly talk it and I out there and I face any the blows of the people who are trying to victimize me and all those kind of things there? And you constantly waiting for me to show up. Just like the bus drivers who were protesting against the bus drivers asking the government for a little assistance. They themselves, if the bus drivers were not there, no assistance would have been had. And everybody would be on an equal playing field, just begging and constantly begging, staying quiet, waiting for somebody else to do it. They don't want to do it themselves, you know, they're waiting for somebody else <laughs> to do it for them. Mm. Yes, I. Just like the same girl I did a reaction on. Talking about the, the, the situation in school and other students are feeling they're quiet. They are feeling it, but they're quiet because they don't want to be victimized by the Tebe people that are out there who are not realizing what is going on. I will always revert back to the very same thing that Harriet Tubman initiated. She said I could have freed thousands of slaves 
even though I freed hundreds of them, I could have freed thousands more if only they knew that they were slaves. But it's a hell of a thing. When these people in this day and age know that they are slaves, and instead of wanting their freedom, they're trying to keep those who are trying to escape, they're trying to keep them back. You know, misery, love, company, not true? When you don't see way for yourself, you check in, well, I don't want to be by myself. You have to be in misery with me. And when that happens now, you know, circumstances tend to bring society itself down. And it not only affects the people who are working hard, you know, want it better. It affects the very people who are refusing to do something to help society, who are refusing to talk. It has affected them too. Because remember, initially, the average of what this woman was saying was a B. The average, you know. Now it's an F. Everybody go down in society. To their great surprise, all failed. All failed. And the professor told them that socialism would ultimately fail. <coughs> yep, it will ultimately fail. I mean, look at Dominica. It, it's failing. Tourists are coming into Dominica, the beautiful nature the outside of Dominica, seeing the beauty of Dominica. The monstro the, I mean, the, the mon mountain, the mountainosity. <laughs> the mountains and the curves of Dominica and the greenness and the wind of oh you feeling and you seeing that and when you come inside Dominica now, you wonder in what commerce is this? In the capital city, you can listen to the lady stressing that way. She said, this is the capital city in this mess. In this mess, the capital city, whoa, beyond to the other cities. Because the capital city is supposed to be the best looking city. Truffles. The best looking city. I mean, I remember Picard back in the day. Picard was the best looking city in Dominica. I don't talk about post you know. <laughs> I talk about Picard. Picard, when you knew you, you people from Picard, people checking city, you come out. City, you come out because it's city life that was there. Then the government allowed the Ross to, not allow, they push Ross to leave. Frustrate Ross to make Ross want to leave. When they leave now, they are the number one owners of the landlord owners in, in Barbados. And then they come and tell the landlords, oh, we wanted to keep the housing for you. When I was literally in the grounds, breaking ceremony of the new student center, and they were planning to build 400 new apartments for first semester students. Because when the reward is great, the effort to succeed is great. Because when the reward is great, the effort to succeed is great, or even greater sometimes. If you know you're going to get a great reward at the end of your hard work, wouldn't you constantly work hard? No. But if you know the reward is not going to be... Well, let me, let's, let's let her continue. When the government takes away all the reward... For hard work. When they take away all the rewards for hard work, then this is what's going to happen. No one will try or want to succeed. No one will try or want to succeed because they figured, hey, they're getting a free ticket. All the free housing that they giving people which individuals cannot own that is a big problem right there that is a big freaking problem right there you cannot own these houses the government building mansions for himself you cannot own the apartments that they're giving you even the housing they give you residential titles which means you cannot you can stay there you have the ability to live there but you cannot pass this on and say okay i want to take a loan on my house you cannot do these things the government themselves admitted that everything built by the government is the government's own. But they come and telling the people, hey, it's all your own. And it's a bit of, your Engl of in an interesting English way of phrasing it, you know. You can understand, hey, it's all your own. You get to live there. But bring it to the bank now and say you're taking a loan. Or try to sell it so you can leave Dominica with a set of money. Try and do that, no? <laughs> See if that works for you. And that is socialism, my friend. And that is what is happening in Dominica. Socialism. They want the people to be dependent on the government. It's a sad state of affairs, brothers and sisters. Talking about that, guys. Let's go to Antigua. There was an incident that took place in Antigua, guys. Involving this... This incident right there. A truck... 
almost went into a dump truck almost went into a car i guess it stopped just in the nick of time before anybody got hurt so thank god for that there was also another incident in dominica that took place i had the picture and everything but everybody's okay thank god for that too but let's go to assault man assault you know the whole situation that going on assault brothers and sisters okay this is this is what is going on hopefully there are no cost words inside david of course what's that i'll try to edit it out and if it if some stay <laughs> don't blame me so this is assault I need all my money. I close all our accounts. Assad is saying he wants all his money. Now, guys, if you understand how the banking system works, they when they take your money, they don't have your money in the bank waiting for you. They take your money to use your money for them to enrich themselves and they give you about 2%. If you're lucky, <laughs> if you're in Dominica, 2% they're giving you. While well, they might make 14, 15, 16% on your money turning over. So maybe they, they turn that over for, 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 let's say you're in the bank for, for five years. They turn your, 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 your money over probably three or four times and they're giving you two percent per year that is most likely either equal equal to the inflation rate the value of money or it's much lower so even if you see your money increasing the value of it is decreasing anyways he's going for his money and uh, well i don't think he's gonna get for his five hundred thousand dollars Why is this guy following him? Are you gonna get some of the money, bro? Come with me, Tyler. Come with me. Come with me. He is coming with me. You can't tell me who to come with me. Well, you give me that money. We both. Okay, we have to. We have to hold, hold, hold. Yes, I. No. You give me that money now. Okay, bro. Well, they can tell you who not to bring with with this is not your house, you know, sir. This is this is not your, your playground. This is not your room, your bedroom. This is their stuff. They, there are other people's accounts inside there, so they can say, okay, we want only you to come in, I mean to get your monies or whatnot. But I mean, come on, you 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 you, you can this is not your house, asshole. I'm guessing this is probably Gaston's bank. I don't know. But Mr. Want his money, give the man his money. money. I want my money. All cash, everything, everything. Go, go. Well I don't I wouldn't I don't think you'll be able to get it in cash. I most likely think you would be able be able to get it in check. Because these people, like I said before, don't keep your money. This is why I don't understand how human beings keep putting their money in the bank thinking 2% per year is something wonderful for them. That's insane. <laughs> but okay then. All right. He's a squad of them, man. Oh, I thought, okay. So he brought his, his people with him. Maybe they themselves going to get a little something from it. So guys, this is pretty much all we have right there. Assault one is money. I guess this is some link to Gaston in some way, shape, or form. I know Gaston has been taking money from Assault before. Um, Assault actually stated this very thing right there, um, and he wants Assault wants his money. Um, 
But I thought at the end of the day, you are the one who helped put Gaston in that position that he's in. You give Gaston so much power, he's able to overpower you. Just like people or laborites from now who left and saying, boy, Dominica in trouble, when I tell them, well, you were the ones who put his carrot in that position, we. You helped Skerritt be a part of that position that he's in today. Giving him too much power where he's able to just overbother and don't care about you or your family and whatever. It, that, is, that is an interesting thing right there. That is an interesting thing right there. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below right there. Uh, do you think Asa should take his money? Those are Antigua. What is going on? Talk to your boy. Uh, talk to Miss Telix, please. Uh, what do you think about the incident involving this lady right there? What she's saying about socialism? I think that is what is happening in the Caribbean. This is why they, they are not pushing people. If you listen to Skerritt in the last campaign, DLP campaign, you realize he's not talking about doing things for the people to elevate. You know, He's not talking about building back the growth, the growth sectors of Dominica. He's literally talking about, can the fisherman build you a house? Can you get this and can you get that from the fisherman? Can you do this and that? Can your mother and your father help you with what labor right is doing for you? You remember that was what his whole campaign is about? What the government can do for you, you know, what the government can do in society to actually make you depend independent from independent of them? I mean, it doesn't take... I mean, a blind man can see that, eh? And I know it have a few blind folks who tend to watch my videos and they agree with me. There are a few of them, no doubt about it. But it's just sad that a number of persons, and it's a hell of a thing when blind people can see and people with eyes cannot see. That is something else. That is some that is something else, eh, Father. Yes, I. What are your thoughts, guys? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. Before I run over this thing, I'm gonna go for lunch <laughs> in a moment. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in this regard, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. And like I said before, guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Leave that, of course, in the comment box below. And of course, the first comment has the previous reaction video that I did today as well. So definitely check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.